And it's time for another exciting chapter in the lifestyles of the Florida Powerboat Club. And our members are up in the Florida Panhandle for the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week 2020 edition. Stu Jones here as we wrap up a fantastic August event with our sixth and final episode today with feature coverage of this big summer event. Before we get started, let's thank our sponsors. Florida Powerboat Club's 2020 series sponsors include Deep Impact Custom Boats and their associated brand, Blackwater Boats, Nortec High Performance Boats, Midnight Express Power Boats, Myco Trailers, Performance Boat Center, Mystic Power Boats, Superior Communications, and Mercury Racing Wide Open. In addition to our 2020 series sponsors, we were joined by these feature sponsors as seen here on our Emerald Coast Powerboat Week official banner, including Allocomp Insurance, Bent Marine, Emerald Grand and Harbor Walk Village, along with Glass Dream Powerboats. In our last episode, we've been chasing boats all the way from the east end of the Poker Run course, flying in the FPC helicopter, chasing down 70 teams all together as we cross through Fort Walton Beach, Navarre, and on to our final checkpoint to the west, Pensacola Beach. So when we left off, there were dozens of teams that were leaving that Quiet Waters Beach boardwalk at Pensacola Beach, heading back eastbound on a 40-mile course towards Destin Fort Walton Beach on the final leg of the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week Poker Run. So let's kick this episode off by introducing the Fowler Clan, another one of our many teams from Georgia. We probably have more than two dozen teams from Georgia here on this event. And it's family day because uh, we've got Kyle at the helm, Dad Mike and Mom Lisa enjoying the day. Look at Mom sitting up front, getting just the right amount of shade off that T-top. But they are enjoying the first event with their brand new Fountain 38 center console, Triple Mercury Verado 400Rs. Doesn't get much better than this, guys. A perfect poker run boat and a great boat to go out fishing with. And here's a great scenic shot that I can certainly get used to. This new GoPro mounted on the tail section of our R44 helicopter, giving us these big wide shots, showing these beautiful open waterways. And that's exactly what Brad Hancock is enjoying right now. These wide open waterways are just what you want when you've got a 130 mile per hour V-Bot on this Nortec 477. It's called an SPX model, one of very few that are made. Uh, central helm position, twin Mercury racing 1350s, custom paint and interior. And to me, this boat represents many, many years of development from the Nortec factory and their design team of building V-bottoms for more than 25 years. And this is one very rare and unique Nortec. And guys, if you've had a lot of fun going fast and you want to slow down just a little bit and have a lot of fun with your friends, the center console is a way to do it. We typically keep about a 70 mile an hour speed limit for these center consoles because you don't need to be going much faster than that. Steve Young has the throttles pegged at about 50 miles per hour. Lisa and her girls looking great in their red bikinis. Guys, it's all about the showmanship now. This 38 statement is doing the job for them. Triple Mercury Verados, custom paint, plenty of seating for all your friends. Now pay attention, guys. You don't want to miss that money shot. Congratulations to Team Naughty Habit for winning the Sexiest Crew Award. And another great shot as we close in on this 47-foot fountain, the biggest fountain on the run today, and that's because Gerald loves big stuff. He drives a 45-foot motor coach, and he tows this 47-foot fountain. I did the math. It sounds like that makes it about a 95-foot rig going down the highway. But I do know that Gerald and his uh, gal Gina really love to do poker runs, and it was quite a surprise to see them show up. They were not pre-registered, so we didn't know they were going to be here. Just at the last minute, I got a phone call. I think it was the night before. And uh, here they are. So good to see you guys again. The boat looks fantastic. Mercury Racing 700s. Great sounding motors. Let's tune in, guys, and listen to that power. And I got to say, these conditions today are just fantastic. Everyone has their own space. 
timing out their return back to Destin and just kind of like owning the waterways, every one of them. Uh, that's happening now for John and Connie Fami from Georgia. This triple engine Sensation 34 CCX with some really funky, nice paint. Silver and blue tones, a little bit of carbon fiber accents, a great looking boat and a fun crew on board. Now I have a feeling we're gonna have a fun ride here as we catch up with Giorgio Ariano and his 29 foot DCB. This cat is so light that it doesn't take a lot of water to get it humping and that's exactly what George is about to do. And I'd like to compare the power of this boat to the one we saw earlier. That 47 fountain that we saw had a pair of Mercury Racing 700s and likewise this 29 foot cat has the same power exactly, twin Mercury Racing 700s. You can imagine what the power and the acceleration is of this little cat, but George is holding back today because I don't think anybody's wearing a kidney belt. And we're now catching up with Frank and Molly Tubbs in their 38-foot fountain. They've been here many times before, always putting on a great show, came here from Alabama. And a bittersweet video clip today as I just learned the other day that Frank had sold the fountain shortly after the event is in the market for a center console. So this is the last time we're gonna see Frank and Molly and their friends in this 38 Fountain Lightning. So let's enjoy it. Well, it looks like we have now retired the helicopter for the rest of the day Saturday, but we'll be back in the air on Sunday. And now catching up with a few teams as they've just made their way through the Brooks Bridge and they've got this final leg uh, towards the Bay Waters as they get back to Destin. And they're gonna park the boats for the night because we've got a big party uh, taking place over at the Destin Fort Walton Beach Convention Center. So this is a time when people can either decide, well, I'm gonna go beach the boat at Noriego Point for an hour or two or I'm going to go to Crab Island and jump in the water. Or maybe I'm just going to go put the boat back in the marina and get back into the condo, have some AC, and get everybody all cleaned up. With our new event format where we push the start of the party a little later, it uh, gives everybody at least two or three hours to just have some downtime and not have to rush to get ready for the party. And I just have to say that, you know, it's a little after 4 p.m. and it was so nice today to not have to run from the weather. Uh, normally late in the afternoon, we have these storms that roll in. It did not happen today. And that was just a great result for everybody. And fast forward just a couple of hours as we begin to arrive now at Destin Fort Walton Beach Convention Center. It's a big facility that many of us are familiar with because we've been to parties here before when we were partnered with the Emerald Coast Foundation and it's always been a great venue for a party but it really was the only venue that was available to us so that we could maintain social distancing. Look even the girls dancing were maintaining their distance and uh, behaving uh, but we had the lovely Florida Powerboat Club girls here with us uh, to help with getting all the prizes laid out and it was really for me kind of exciting to have this great big huge venue because you could see uh, this was the most crowded table we had. Normally it was going to be, I think, six to eight people per table, which would normally accommodate 10 to 12, uh, but that worked out just fine. We had bars set up all around the venue, and we were able to use the giant uh, audiovisual system, the big screens. We had actually two screens running with all the footage from the day. And you can see here with the food presentation uh, with the plexiglass, all of the procedures used here at the convention center were complying with CDC guidelines and it really worked out great. While Jackie worked the front door to get everybody in, uh, the FPC girls helped out with all the poker hands and it was a family affair because I even had Max and Tyler helping out with the party. And one of the festivities on the agenda for the evening was to vote for your favorite Miss Powerboat Week contestant and it was a new format completely and worked out really, really well, I thought. On the jumbo screens, we had images of all the contestants and on every table, there was a number of ballots that allowed everyone to vote for their favorite contestant. And that was everyone, not just a select panel of really drunk judges. So I think that made it very fair and I'd like to congratulate all of the winners. I think the girls liked the format as well. Congratulations to Jasmine on the left, that's third place. Shelby in the middle with the red dress, second place. And our winner for Miss Powerboat Week is the lovely Becca. All three of these lovely ladies, as well as other contestants, have been featured in the Powerboating in Paradise magazine and the Florida Powerboat Club 2021 wall calendar. 
We also made time during our party agenda to thank all of our major sponsors who supported this event. Thanks once again to Alicom for returning for their second year as an Emerald Coast Powerboat Week sponsor. Alicom is an insurance company owned and operated by Stephen and Kelly Marino. They attended in their 35-foot DCB cap. And special thanks to Nortec High Performance Boats based in Cape Coral and North Fort Myers. They had a strong showing here at the event. And of course, dominating that fleet are their wide variety of center console models, including 34s and 39s, all powered by Mercury Racing. Except for that one boat from Louisiana. I won't say any names. And it was a lucky night for John Kosker as he was presented by our two a Florida Powerboat Club ladies. Special thanks to Mystic Powerboats for being a big supporter of the Florida Powerboat Club this year. John and his wife Robin attended in this really great-looking Mystic 4200 powered by Quad Mercury Racing 450s. And thank you to Deep Impact Custom Boats based out of Miami. It was unusual not to have Mark and Eileen Fisher here at the event this year. Special thanks to Paul Bertusi from Gulfport, Mississippi, a very loyal Deep Impact owner who is happy to represent the brand here at the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week. And he did so with style with this lovely crew on board who were definitely contenders for that sexiest crew award. And a big shout out to our local builder, Cruz Rutherford and her team from Glassstream Powerboats. They attended with this 36 Glassstream, the flagship of their fleet, these boats are built about 100 miles away in Dothan, Alabama. And then we switch gears to the very coveted President's Choice Award, starting off with Scott and Monica James, uh, winning the first award in quite some time because they have got themselves a new boat. That 33 DCB Cat won them Best Catamaran Award, something that they never could have won in the past, even though they've been here for probably 15 years. This is the first catamaran that they've owned. It's powered by Mercury Racing 450Rs, and they are just loving it. Well, he's very deserving of the Most Spirited Team Award, Brett Lasso from South Carolina, his first time here on the Emerald Coast event. But instead, he won Broken Propeller Award because his classic 1988 fountain a uh, 40-foot ICBM, it's called Team Renegade. Well, it looked good, but it didn't quite make the poker run. Had a few mechanical problems with the drives and couldn't get parts, uh, but he put on a good show in the meantime. So he's got the Broken Propeller Award to take home, and he deserves a really special mention for bringing this very classic fountain to the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week. And to these lovely ladies, they were very deserving. Team Naughty Habit, that 38-foot statement we saw a lot of in some of these previous episodes. And tonight, they're all dressed up in their nice casual cocktail wear, but they started their day off as Naughty Nurses. And those outfits were a big hit at every checkpoint along the poker run course. But later in the day, off came the nurse outfits, and the girls finished the day in some matching red bikinis. That, I know, was no accident. All planned by Lisa and very deserving of this very coveted Sexiest Crew Award. You guys look fantastic. And another very deserving award, one that I was very proud to hand out because Joe Speckers has really proved himself as a, an accomplished boat builder, but he's also a great family man and the kind of guy you want to have on your poker runs. Joe and Jennifer Beckers had the entire family on board, their saltwater steel, a boat that Joe built all by himself, Took him four years of Saturdays, but look at the end result. Last year, he showed up here and put on an awesome show, but since then, he finished the hardtop, the black hardtop that's been installed, and that was his debut of this new hardtop version. And I love this shot because it shows the entire family having fun on Emerald Coast Powerboat Week. And I was so happy to see uh, lovely Brittany and Bubba, who I've known for, well, probably 20 years now. i uh, like to see this couple together, and they are truly boating enthusiasts because they came all the way from Oklahoma. It illustrates to me their passion for the sport and the fact that they would drive hundreds and hundreds of miles just to be here with us. So thanks to Bubba and Brittany, and congratulations on their new airship and their new other boat, which is coming very soon to the next poker run. I'm not going to tell you what it is, guys, but you'll just have to stay tuned for our next episodes. We also had a special President's Choice Awards for Roy and Amanda Jorgensen, who came all the way from Indiana. And now that I look at them and uh, think about the entire day, if I've seen the video, they should have got the best paint and graphics 
Award for their big 50-foot Hustler because this thing is so colorful. It really stands out and pretty amazing that they trailered it all the way from Indiana over 600 miles. But what they did win was the Best Dress Crew Award. And another award that I love giving out uh, is the Best Team Name. You know, these boats have such cool names, and I think that Kevin Kurkowski deserves it with Team. The Grassy Ass, his 35-foot fountain. Obviously, we found out later, he's in the landscaping business. And sitting here looking at all these images, uh, Reminds me of just what a great venue this turned out to be. Remember that we started off on our own a couple years ago when we separated from the Emerald Coast Foundation to do our own event and make it a little more VIP. And that started by using the facilities at the Emerald Grand. Remember it was kind of crowded and it was warm. It did a wonderful job for us. The meal was fantastic. But at the end of the day, the, the poker run, the final table was really crowded and got a little warm and steamy in that room. Then last year, we moved it over to Margaritaville at Harbor Walk Village, uh, which is an open air restaurant. But of course it was hot and steamy that night too. And I don't think that we really were comfortable and didn't really want to go back and do it again. So this worked out to be fantastic. Such a big facility, uh, lots of room to move around. Uh, the girls uh, worked feverishly to get all of these final uh, 10 hands up on the boards. We picked the top 10, actually the top nine, and the 10th person bought their way into the final table. And we had a nice big final table, which is I really, really liked. You can see a lot of room to move around. Uh, everyone's got shoulder room. And most of us wore our masks, except a couple of the uh, rebels there didn't have their mask on. But as you guys know, we play straight poker, uh, five cards. We really had to speed up the program because when you have 10 uh, people at the final table, uh, that game could take hours if you play it with too many options. So we played a straight five car stud. And with three left, uh, they played off. And uh, we said farewell to J.B. Swanson. Uh, he stuck it out right through the entire round and uh, left at the table. You know, ironically, two fountain teams. What do we got? You got it, man. You got a Congratulations to our top three teams. Everyone got some great prizes, and 10,000 cash went for the grand prize to Brett Lasso, Team Renegade. And from our proceeds at the poker tables, we were able to donate another $10,000 to local charities, starting with Aliqua Animal Refuge, operated by Lori and Taylor Hood. Here's a shot of Taylor with our official check presentation. And it was our first time donating to the Emerald Coast Science Center. That's uh, Executive Administrator Diane Fraser on the left, presented by Hank Christen, who is part of our video production team for the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week. It was our third year donating to Fisher House of the Emerald Coast, located at Eglin Air Force Base. That's the Executive Director Mia Hughes on the left, along with Jerry Williams, who's the CEO of Eglin Federal Credit Union. And we were happy to donate once again to Destin Kids on the Coast, providing great outdoor adventures and experiences for less fortunate kids. And we donated once again to the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office, the Sheriff's Star Charity, which has many programs that support servicemen and women and first responders in Okaloosa County. Hanging out here at the Destin Airport on day four of the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week. We got started last Thursday for the fun run. Uh, then again on Friday out to Juana's and of course the big poker run Saturday. But it's not over uh, until Sunday now. We're going to fly with Timberview helicopters here in the R44. And uh, maybe or hopefully find a few boats uh, just wandering around out there. A beautiful day for photography. So we always like to fly that one extra hour uh, just to get those few boats that might have got missed in the video in the days earlier. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, still a beautiful weekend here. Uh, going to get out and use that cigarette with the family later on today. Maybe some of the club members still in town, I'm sure. And uh, we're going to be out on the waterways having some fun and getting the best out of this. 
this weekend here on the Emerald Coast. Thanks to all of you who participated with us again this year. It was a leap of faith for many of you to come out here during these COVID times, uh, but many of you came hundreds of miles to join us, and uh, we appreciate your loyalty and your support on that. Lots of fun here with all of our boating friends with the Florida Powerboat Club. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we've got plenty here on YouTube to give you guys some great, exciting action with all these powerboats running up and down these beautiful Emerald Coast waters. Thanks, guys. And this was now my first chance to get up in a helicopter, and something I've been doing uh, traditionally now for as long as I can remember, and that is doing a lot of the photography on this event. Uh, it was just recently that I decided to spend more time on the water Saturday, but Sunday's always been a day in the chopper for me. I always enjoy getting out for at least an hour and trying to chase down a few boats. But really, it's the scenery here on the Emerald Coast, and particularly here in Destin, like this great shot of legendary marina. Look at that star-spangled banner. You know, I hear that pilots can see it from five miles above on a clear day. And of course, who could not love Crab Island, one of the most popular hotspots here uh, in the Destin area for boaters uh, every weekend. But just look at this shot. If you're a boater, this is just, you know, paradise to live here and to be able to boat here year round. That's the East Pass off to your left going out into the Gulf waters. And now we're catching up with our first boat here, Mark and Lana Albert. They're over here on the Bay waters running their 35 foot fountain all the way from Texas. And they've been here as many years as I can remember. They just love coming back to the Emerald Coast. And I'm glad to see that they're getting one more extra day of boating fun before they load the boat up and head back to Texas. Now that's what we all came for, the roar of those big V8s and of course the ladies getting the wind in their hair. Guys, I don't think it gets much better than this. Thanks to Mark and Lana and their crew for giving us a nice Sunday farewell. Stephen and Casey Head, I think they're doing the very same thing. They're getting one more great day of boating before they put the boat back on the trailer and head home to Alabama. Team Toots was their very first time here at Emerald Coast, this 353 formula. So a very special welcome to Steve and Casey Head from Alabama, their first Emerald Coast Powerboat Week. They had so much fun, they signed up for the next event, the Tampa Bay Poker Run, so we saw them just a month later. And time to have some fun with Jim and Lynn Archambault again in their 43 Outer Limits. Look at the beautiful green waters. Watch how it changes though as you get out of the East Pass in right there. I don't know another place in Florida that has such incredible watercolors and it makes for some great photo shoots. We've got some light chop now, so it's time for Jim to put on a show. And nice to see Donald Brady back with his Everglades 350EX uh, boat that's been on this run many times, but he's got his lovely bride Dagan on board. And even their little two-year-old daughter Arabella was on board. She was asleep alongside Donald at the helm in her little beanbag chair. Donald and his friends have been attending since 2003. As soon as one finishes, they immediately start planning the next year. 
Don says the reason he keeps coming back is because the Powerboat family is an awesome, happy bunch that likes having fun, and that's exactly who we are. And his final comments were that Donald was thanking all of the FPC staff for making the Emerald Coast a memorable event every year. And we know we're going to see more of this boat, not only now, but in future events, because Scott and Monica James are absolutely hooked on the powerboating lifestyle. Coast to Coast is their brand new DCB M33R, a big change from their 35-foot fountain that they brought on this event for more than a dozen years. And with the kids all grown up, I think it just keeps getting better for mom and dad because it's the one passion that they both share. And I know we're going to see them a lot more on so many more poker runs with the Florida Powerboat Club. Putting on a great show here with Scott and Monica and Team Coast to Coast. Well, I would have to say it was a pretty small turnout out in the Gulf waters, and I would urge all of you to really take advantage of this Sunday photo shoot because we book at least an hour or so to get out on the waterways. Paul Bertuzzi about to now get his couple of minutes of fame as he should because Paul has been such a great supporter of this event. I met him back in the late 90s here at the Emerald Coast. He was running a 42 fountain at the time, and since then he went into a really nice 43-foot uh, Nortec V-bottom that we saw here for many, many years, probably more than a decade. But now with this a Deep Impact 399, he's loving his new center console, enjoying these beautiful protected waters near Crab Island. So this is a perfect farewell from Beer Money 2 as we say goodbye to everybody here after a fantastic Emerald Coast Powerboat Week 2020 edition. This is our sixth and final episode as we wrap up our feature coverage. Despite so many challenges that we had with this new COVID-19 crisis that is ongoing and through our nation, we managed to pull together a very successful and fun poker run event with a total of 70 registered teams. We followed the CDC guidelines to the T. We managed to keep our social distancing by being aboard our own boats and enjoying the poker run. And I think that's what separates power boating apart from so many other recreational sports. We can maintain social distancing, having fun with our family and closest friends on board our private boats, and then following new guidelines and a different format for the poker runs by limiting the crowds at lunch stops and parties and following the CDC guidelines like we did with the very professional staff at the Destin Fort Walton Convention Center. And that's what made this Emerald Coast Powerboat Week 2020 a real winner for all of us. And I want to thank all of our participants and sponsors for taking a leap of faith and joining us here in the heart of the Florida Panhandle. And before we move on, I want to mention that next year we've made a big move by changing from the August dates to new dates in September, September 22nd to 26th, 2021. Same headquarters at the Emerald Grand and Harbor Walk Village. Same docking and launching venues. And of course, we aren't going to change anything about the Poker Run course. So there's a lot of reasons we did this. I think it's going to be a great outcome. So please mark down those new 2021 dates. Our next series of episodes include the Tampa Bay Poker Run, followed by our signature Key West Poker Run in November. It's all right here on Florida Powerboat Club's YouTube channel. And the best way to get that is to subscribe. Be sure to click that notification bell so that you get all of the updates every time a new episode is released. Our 2021 season is just around the corner, so be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events in 2021, as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page. And you guys know who you are, and I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 
So thanks for watching, guys, uh, from our FPC studios in Pompano Beach. This is Stu Jones, along with our producer, Ryan McCoy. And please remember, guys, if you're out boating during the holiday season, remember that the Florida waterways are extremely congested this time of year. So be safe, wear your life jacket when the time is right, and most of all, be respectful to your fellow boaters. Happy holidays from the Florida Powerboat Club. Bye for now, guys.